it's DK and I'm back with another video. Put me on your big screen video. Today we're gonna to talk about should you quit your job and do gig work? You're gonna find out what I think in this video. Again, put me on big screen video. But we do got two loads. It's time to pull up and get our pockets on swole. Load number one is from the carrier company. We're gonna drive 33 dead head miles, 35 miles loaded, so 68 miles all together for 125. It's time for us to pick up the prize, let's go. And we are here at our favorite place to be so we can get this cheese. Russ. My guy Russ right here. What's, up, What's going on boss? I have a uh, load going to Pleasant Prairie to buy your fat. I'm gonna turn it back. Give me all right. 15. All right, appreciate it. Y'all know what time it is. My guy pull it up so we can run it up. <laughs> Perfect, right there. And just like that, we go. We're about to pull up and get in our zone. Let's go. Hi, how you doing, boss? I just came. I just came from down there, from Glenview. Oh, yeah. You saw the accident over there. Oh, dude, that was bad. Man, that was crazy. Oh, that was crazy. My God, Mike, about to get us right. Well, that's what you do when you cook a steak, man. You have to get <laughs> off the grill. It's got to sit there for like 10, 15 minutes, right? <laughs> yeah. And rest. Let it cool. Yeah, let it cool off. Rest, it, let the really juices. Let it rest, yeah, yeah. It keeps on cooking and the yeah. juices. Yeah. So. We got a QC department, okay? Uh -huh. Stuff comes over there that I was supposed to ship. It sits there for two, three days. Two, uh -huh. three days. Uh -huh. So I came up with the same scenario as, as a steak. As, as a steak you know, <laughs> it has to cool off for a little bit. You got to cool off for a little bit, Mike. Don't get run over. Yes, sir. Load number two. Guess what you about to do? Get some more money. We have another load from the carrier company. We're gonna drive 11 dead head miles, 115 miles loaded, so 126 miles all together for 240, shorty, let's go. And just like that, we are here at the pickup. We trying to pick up and run it up, baby. Run it up. Let's run it up. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I woke up this morning. I can't complain. Oh. Um, I have a load going from here to Rosendale, Wisconsin. I don't have the order number though, so. Rosendale, they say it's like 350 pounds. Well, it's gonna be this. That's your copy there. All right. Where door nine is. Yeah, right down here, right? I saw it when I came in. Yes. All right, thank you very much. You guys have a great weekend. Yes, sir, we will do. Just those on individually or putting the whole pallet on? You just put the whole pallet on, that's I'll fine. Put the whole pallet on. Yeah. What is that? I don't even know to be honest. It's called, it's called Juneberry, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> you don't know exactly what it is, right? Uh, I think it's like some type of flavoring they use. Oh, okay. <laughs> we learn something new every day. Right. Ocean spray. We at ocean spray, baby. Doom, doom. Comment below if you know about that. Ocean spray, comment below and let me know. If you don't know, yeah, comment below and let me know. We here to score. Appreciate you, boss. You have a good one. Stay up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, boss. You have a great weekend. <coughs> Time to strap this joint up so we can go out here and run it up. Ocean spray. What y'all know about the ocean spray? <coughs> and just like that, y'all see we got the bar. Now it's time for us to go far. Let's go.
and we are here at the drop off location. Hopefully, this joint, oh yeah, this joint will open. Because look, it was gonna be critical. I just want to know it was gonna be critical. What time is it? 3.43? Sheesh. I'm glad I see at least one car out there, so. But I also see a semi out there who's just sitting there, so. Oh no. Hello. How you doing? I'm gonna have a load coming from Kenosha. I'm in a Sprinter van. Uh, oh, I need this too. Can't refuse you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's only like a few little uh, yeah, containers. Just, stuff. Yeah. Is it on a pallet or is it just? Yeah, it's on a pallet. Okay. I'm, I'm right here in this okay, park right I'll, there. I'll get it for you. Okay. Is this my copy or your copy? Um, you can sign that copy and then I'll just take a photo of it and I should be good to go. Okay. Otherwise, I can make a copy of it too, whatever. Let me write receipt about because I don't want no problems with these. I don't want no problems. <laughs> you know, they're going to swell up and down. Do it like that. Make it look nice. <laughs> take two just in case. So you can keep that one. <laughs> and I'll right. meet you at the door. Sounds great. Thank you. Hopefully, you get to go home soon so you ain't got to be bothered no more. Well, technically, I would have been done at three, but I'm such a nice person that I offered to stay for him because he was going to be late. Well, then wow. he showed up, and I'm like, well, your appointment was at 11 o'clock. Huh? Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you. Well, I'm glad I came here, but when I came here, because guess who? I had to drive all the way back home and come back Monday. No, they need this, so they would. Uh, somebody would have took it, but I don't know if anybody would have heard the buzzer. So. Right. Thank you. You have a great one. You too. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, should you quit your job and do gig work? This is my answer as of today, February 12th, 2024. Personally, I do not think that it's a good idea. I think that the market is too bad right now. I think that everything is slow as far as the gig apps and everything. Like yes, here and there you might get you some orders, here and there you might not get any orders. But as of lately, it's been very, very slow, especially in my area. I'm not sure how everybody else area is, but I do want to say from all of the other gig tuber channel that I do come across, they're saying the same thing, they're slow in the area too. So um, like after today's, is it a good idea? I think that in order for you to make this happen, you first have to have some money saved up. If you do not have any money saved up, do not do it. I'm looking in your face to you right now. Do not do it. I don't care if it's today, tomorrow, or next day. If you do not have any money saved up, do not do it. With this whole gig work thing, it's hit or miss. Like some days you might go crazy. You might get five, six, seven hundred. You might go crazy. And then other days you might get a fat zero. So it just all depends. Is you can't really say how much money you're gonna make. Either you're gonna make it or you're not gonna make it. Now. Um, that's just doing gig work. If you did a dedicated route or something like that, then maybe that, that, that'll that work for you. You can quit your job, get your dedicated route, and then do the gig works on, uh, the, the gig apps on everything else on the side. But as far as just doing completely gig apps, I wouldn't recommend it as of today. Everything is slow, so I don't think it's a good idea. But I also want to say this. If you're planning on just quitting your job because you do have the money saved up, and you like, I don't want to work at this job no more. I do understand that, but I will say before you make that, that move, I would recommend that you do gig work first. Do not just quit your job. You ain't signed up for no apps. You just go on out here, you quit the job. Now you've been trying to sign up for all these apps and all of them put you on the waiting list because they already filled. I would say start getting the apps before you make that move. Do not wait until the end of the tell until it's too late. Get the apps, sign up. You do not have to have no cargo van, no sprinter van. You can use your car, your regular car that you're using to go to work with. You can use that vehicle. And I will work, like start off doing small stuff and then work your way up. Like do DoorDash, Uber Eats. That's the reason why I tell you guys, you gotta have as many apps as possible so you can make as much money as possible. And also you wanna get more experience from doing different things. Like find out what you really like doing. Find out what you like doing, also what you're gonna make money doing. So that's what I would recommend to you guys. Again, as of February 12th, 2024, I would not recommend that you quit your job and just do nothing but gig apps because it's, it's, it's like you don't know when you're going to make money and when you're not going to make money. That's my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section. You are part of the crew. You already know what to do. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be going, be going, be flowing. You already know it. It's DDK and I'm on my way.